All right, Mech Warriors, welcome back. And we are continuing the defense of Panzer, which it, it, I think it's actually going pretty well. The, uh, especially for not knowing how this mission worked. Okay, it looks like I'm stuck here. I actually do have to jump. I was hoping to just walk. Now, I know that the Shrek is banged up on that side, so I'm going to go jump over here. Confirm. And I'm going to call a targeted shot on its banged up side. And I'm going to toss in the medium lasers as well, just to ensure that we get through that. And we did. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Wolverine gets up. The Iron Man Wolverine. He does look like Iron Man. Loses a lot of damage to the Light accuracy down. penalty Confirm. of getting up. What's up, boss? All right. And finally, I get to actually do something. I spent a huge portion of this episode just chasing these squirrely vehicles around. Who do I want to shoot at? Not sure. Um, I'm just going to shoot at the Jenner, to be honest. I'm going to take a targeted shot, center torso. Ah, I must have missed a few on the center torso because I didn't quite get them. Maybe the turret gets them? Oh, the turret got him. Very good turret. Standing by. Aye, aye. Um, the victor needs to sink a little bit of heat, so I'm going to... Just walk and probably just shoot just the AC-20 to sink some heat. On target. Solid contact with the AC-20. I don't think we've missed a single Bandit. shot with the AC-20 yet, which is very nice. Keep the Highlander moving so they don't get a bead on it. And I preferably jump into better... Yeah, there we Got go. It. Not in cover, but we have better... All, all of our weapons are at their appropriate range. Oh, their numbers are thinning out, meaning that the turrets are all going to... Or not. I guess a lot of the turrets were out of range. Ah, oh, yes, the trebuchet. We forgot about him. Still too much evasion combined with uh, Trey's piloting skill. Still too difficult to hit. Did he, he's been after this, this guy for the entire... Like, Trey has been after that trebuchet the entire mission. And and now he's finally going to, like, close the distance enough to fight him. I think we're just going to spend some time getting closer. Yes, Commander. Let's hop back up here. Aye, aye. And take a shot at the panther. Gaz's rifle immediately shears oh, the panther's that. arm off. Excellent shooting from the turret. Just, uh... Excellent if he was trying to hit the mountain. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Wow. You turrets. I mean, you, you, you did good enough earlier, so... If you want to miss for the rest of the of the mission, that's fine. Hit me with a whole one missile. Hit the victor with a whole one missile. Reporting minimal damage, Commander. No, no, we we are going to get you. I'm gonna jump in on him. Roger. And I'm just gonna alpha strike just because we have enough heat to spare. Let's see how the light is. LRM ammo destroyed. Go ahead. So I believe I don't know how much ammo he carries, but that might jeopardize his ability to fire Thanks missiles. Fine.
Can I get in range with my... Yes, I can. I got... I can get in range with my close combat weapons here. Fire everything. I love seeing all of the lasers go off. Enemy mech destroyed. Receiving you. Roger that. Pass a few missiles this way, why not? Oh, we got something. That hit something good. Ready for orders. Trebuchet's like, oh my god, am I the last one left? I'm like, yep, you are definitely the last one left. Backing away like a little punk. I, I would just eject if I was him. Why even fight it out? You don't even have the APCs remaining. I want you to punch this guy on his wounded side. Moving out. My there you go. 90 damage on the punch. Shot through his leg. They're like scanning him. Like, oh, well, is he really down? We're not entirely sure. We. We need to get a scanner on that target to be certain of it. Full throttle. I, I'm, I'm gonna let... I'm, I'm gonna let Trey finish him off unless the turrets get him. Just because he's been searching for this guy the, the entire game. What's he gonna do? Punch back, maybe? Oh, he's gonna back up some more. All right, now you're gonna hit him with everything you've got now. Roger. And that slices through him. Back destroyed. You've done it, Commander. You've driven them off, and you've saved all our lives. I'll see to it that this food gets distributed to the people who need it. See that you do, Lieutenant. You should know. I can't promise that they won't be back. Desperate times are nothing new for us, Lady Arano. Things have been grim since your uncle's coup. And we've made it this far. As long as you keep the supply shipments coming in, we'll find a way to hold out. You'll have our support as long as I can provide it. That's a promise. Mission successful. So we succeeded at the defense of Panzer. Probably a little fortunate there on uh, some of it. But at the same time, I still think the mechs we chose basically did what we wanted them to do. Now to see what our payday is, considering that we completed the mission optimally. 2.3 million Seabills got a 40% bonus for the command center, a 25% bonus for protecting the barracks. Very nice. Killboard looks pretty good, like everybody did, you know, like everyone did their part. Ah, uh, they didn't send anything interesting to salvage. We could take some of these upgraded medium lasers, I suppose. Always, you always need a ton of medium lasers. Oh, a PPC with plus four accuracy. Oh, a really good SRM six, actually. Let's take that. Let's take the PPC. Ah, oh, I wish it didn't reset the list every time. I'll take that. That all looks pretty good. Once again, I could take the mechs to build them and sell them, but I'd rather have the uh, the better weapons. So now to see what the uh, how the story goes. I know Ostagard can't be uh, happy about this, Lady Arano. I've looked at a coded message from Lady Centrella. She's reporting increased fleet movement near New Vandenberg. A half dozen Concord Navy dropships complete with fighter support. Her agents say that they're heading our way. This situation is growing untenable. Even if we win every battle, attrition will inevitably take its toll. They'll grind us down to nothing. Yeah, that's one of the things that I wrote in the description of one of the videos where it's like, 
it doesn't matter really. Like winning battles is just buying time. It's just the thing is we're fighting the Tarian Concordat. They're a superpower. It's like they have more bullets. They have more battle mechs than we have bodies. Like it's really uh like they could just win through sheer economy. We're gonna say Uh, let's try to be optimistic here. If Lord Madeira does his job right, it won't be a problem much longer. I know, Fox. I know. But while we wait, people are dying. I just had to choose what to spend our dwindling resources on. Emergency relief for a half dozen marginal colonies the Tarians have hit, or fuel for our dropship fleet. I chose the fuel. If we can't move our troops, we can't keep fighting, and everything we've built falls apart. Uh, yeah, so she's talking about the dilemmas of being the leader. It sounds like you did what you had to do. That didn't make it any easier. In about three weeks, the casualty reports will start hitting my desk. I intend to study them, every line, every detail. I, the Sword of Restoration, have just consigned those people to a gruesome fate. The least I can do is remember their names. Ancestry of the Deep Periphery. My ancestors came from a place where life was even more tenuous than it is here in the Reach. You can't stop people from dying, Lady Arano. I know, fucks. Believe me, I know. But I can keep myself from becoming jaded. I can remember the people whose lives were cut short, however much it hurts to do so. I can prevent myself from normalizing their deaths. Your pardon, Lady Arana, but we have an encoded HPG transmission coming in. The point of origin is Gul'dra. I love the name of that planet. I'm putting it on screen now. Kamea, I've got it. My family's insurance policy. I can't open the files from here, but considering the level of security they were hidden behind, there must be something here worth protecting. Um... Oh, uh, let's say something snarky. Guess it's a good thing you got a crash course in code breaking, huh, Doc? Yes, Commander. It would seem so. And now for the bad news. He looks young. Thomas Madeira, or Alexander Madeira, he looks younger in the holographic projection. And, and I didn't even... It's like... And his facial hair doesn't really pop in, re, in, in person. He just looks really different. And now for the bad news. The Directorate is on my trail and they're gaining. I'm still a couple of steps ahead of them now, but I need an evac as soon as you can provide it. My subdermal transponder is active and broadcasting on restoration frequencies. Oh, nothing can ever be easy, can it? I mean, not even once. I'll do my best to stay alive and on the run until you get here, whatever happens. I won't let them get their hands on these files. They're the only things that matter now. I need to move Madeira out. Alexander's image flickers and dies at the message as the message comes to an end. Commander set a course for Gul'dra. I'll be waiting for you there with my battle mech at the ready. Oh, the Kintaro? Are you sure that battle mech is going to be big enough for the fight? We're going to get Alexander back and recover the evidence he gathered. We have to. The rest, the future of the restoration depends on it. Lady. Arano's contract to recover Lord Madeira and the evidence he's gathered are ready in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. I'm just gonna spend, you know, a few weeks preparing, looking for another battle mech, you know. You know, I, I trust you, Alexander, you know. You just scurry away long enough for me to get there. I don't think there is anything interesting in the mech bay. Ah, oh, yes, we have the stalker. We'll put him in descending order. All right, just like that. And let's go ahead and do one more mission, because we've got time. Anything interesting to do here? Oh, these missions stink. None of these missions are like, bring me a real challenge. Uh, what's the highest level area in the... Do we got a three and a half skull? Ah, uh, we do. Do we have a four skull? No four and a halfs. How about a four? Nope, there's no fours, and that means, of course, there's no fives. So that's the problem, that all of the higher level missions we're not allowed to fly to at the moment. Let's go to, um... Is there... 
How about Star League? Has Star League tech anywhere? No. No. Um. Where should we go? Be Fjelder? Sure. Let's go to Fjelder. Roger that, Commander. We'll go to Fjelder and we'll do a we'll do a mission there. And then we'll call it quits. Hopefully a hopefully a good mission, an, an interesting one. One that uh Oh yeah, I mean it is going to be like 2 weeks. Like look, we're we're traveling to Fjelder over 12 days, so Alexander's just going to have to He's just going to have to, you know, pull his big boy britches up and, you know, like, play some Metal Gear in his downtime. Like, learn to sneak around and be like a stealth agent, etc. I, you know, like, I, I don't know. I think he's gonna just going to be a whiny little baby about, oh, he's got, like, the whole organization after him. Blah, blah, blah. Like, we got to go over here and do a mission. Uh, that's, that's the important thing. Like, Fox has his priorities set straight. We've arrived, Commander. Okay. Let's check what they're selling first. An awesome? We already have an awesome. Selling interesting weapons? I really want some Ultra Auto Cannon. You don't know how bad I want to use Ultra Auto Cannons right now. I, I really love ballistic weapons. They're my favorite weapons. And in the expansion, the addition of Ultra Auto Cannons makes a really big difference. Okay, let's see. What's the hardest mission they've got here? Oh! 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 Let's try this one. A four and a, a four and a half skull mission. This might be too hard. Might be. Let's go ahead and raise the salvage up. Well, I don't know. Let's find out. This could be a, a really, really, really big fight. Because we're attacking a base, I want to bring a large quantity of missile support because missiles are really good at destroying turrets. So we're going to bring Lore and the Big Mac. And I think we're going to keep it like this as well. I'm going to go in the Battle Master. And we're going to bring... I, I don't think I've brought out Lucky Duck in a while. Lucky Duck will get to use the Highlander. I'm going to use the Battle Master to take advantage of its speed. And, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Like, this this could be... This mission might be a little bit much. Four and a half? We'll see. Normally, I would want to do a mission of this difficulty with a king crab. Just because, uh... If you have to deal with a lot of assault mechs, the king crab is really good at killing assault mechs. What I probably want to do is I'm going to probably try to lure the defenders away from the base so that I don't have to fight them and the turrets. We'll see what the battlefield terrain looks like, though. Command interface initiated. Okay. I heard there were aliens buried under the ice. It looks like we might be able to do that. We might be able to pull them away. So that'll be my job, because I am the fastest. And that means you guys are going to get set up over here. Way. Acknowledge, Commander. I'm walking here. How close do I need to get to actually signal them? A little bit further. Okay, let's continue getting set up. I'm rolling. Acknowledged. A little bit further. Uh, uh, I guess I'll sprint. Really, I still haven't gotten their attention yet. That looks like a turret right there. Stabilizing and bracing. How about right here? Okay, we got their attention. A 75-ton mech, an 80-ton vehicle, assault-class turrets. 80 ton vehicle. Fortunately, I'm in cover in case they scan me and start taking some shots. Okay, I'll be right here. We got a Marauder. Re 
ready to rock. Preserve. They get one more shot at me before I start to run. Yes, boss. Now I'm gonna start to run. Full throttle. Be pretty hard to keep up with me, so I'm not too worried about that. But what we're gonna do is get them to come away from. Standing by. How's it going? In fact, I might move Roger. a little more over here. We might engage them in this area. I think. I like. I think I like the sound of that. That way, there's a little more space between our missile support and no target. Affirmative. and the front line. Let's get this done. Ready for orders. We'll reserve down. Again. I got you. Ah, there's an assault mech. It's only 80 we tons, though. That's up. really that's not super exciting. Right here looks like a pretty good spot to hold out. My Highlander can hop up there, and my missile mechs, obviously, they don't need a direct Let's line of sight it. to shoot. Skipper. And if we need to fall back even further, we Double still have the option Let's to go. do that, so that's good. Okay, so now we just have to wait for them to get into range, and then we can start shooting at them. Copy that, Commander. Okay, guys. Anytime now. You can get closer. I, I don't have cooties, I swear. Receiving you. Let's just be patient. Good to go. Firing jump jet. Hey, yo. A little more commander. position uh, adjustments. I'm here. Up high. Okay. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. This should be our first real turn of shooting. Or will it? Good, you guys... Confirmed. These guys don't want to come forward and, and fight. I mean, they do, but they don't. It's a demolisher. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Man, we cut through so much of his armor. Good, and he Come scurried out of position rather than shoot back. Uh, yep. Okay, we're gonna scan the demolisher. I've got a sensor lock. And I'm gonna have someone else shoot at it. Yes, boss. The demolisher has two AC-20s, so that's something that's worth destroying. One more for the trashy. Commander. Okay. Alright, so the Marauder finally had the courage to go over it. And he's going for our support, which is interesting. I mean, not a bad idea, but... Probably a little too late for that. I like the idea of coming across over here, because I'll be able to get a view on them both. It's a Zeus. Eating into the side of him. Zeus comes out of cover, and also takes a shot at the catapult. Confirmed. Now what I could do is just start jumping back. Got it, Commander. And it looks like I... I confirmed his torso in the wrong direction, but that's not too big of a deal. I'm on. Oh, we got the Lance Command Mod. Like that means that? they don't get their damage resistance. 
Receiving you. Keep sure we're just gonna shoot at him now. Inflicted some heavy damage. The Zeus is also a really good target just because it's like I've mentioned it before, but it, it has pretty light armor for a mech of its size. Um looks like its center torso is still in pretty good shape. Maybe I should have gone for its leg, just because its leg uh, was already banged up. Okay, good. Ignored the head injury. Looking for a way to reveal that other vehicle, but I don't see one. Still not quite in range of my close combat weapons. Um, I don't think I want to finish this guy. I want to start working on the Zeus. Need to get a little closer so I can actually use my small pulse laser on him. Alright, that's the end of him, finally. Bye-bye. Oh, hits me with all three of the PPCs, aren't you, Special? How's it going? All weapons are go! Okay, we got his auto cannon arm. I'm ready. Just keep volleying him because he's out of cover, out in the open. And I kind of want to destroy the Shrek PPC carrier. I will do both. I will tank up. I will do this and that. That way I'll fire my close combat weapons at the Zeus and everything else at the Shrek PPC carrier. Cut through its armor quite a bit, but still haven't quite got it. Got its leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. What are your orders, Skipper? Copy that, Commander. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Shrek here, because the Shrek has not attacked yet. And that'll ensure that it doesn't get its shots off. Although the Zeus will be able to move. The Zeus has the aim penalty and already has lost a lot of its weapons. That'll save my Battle Master from getting shot by another wave of attacks as well. Okay, we can come out of cover now because we're going to begin our movement onto the base itself. Is that enough to take him out? Nope, not quite. Falls back over again, jeez. This guy cannot stay on his feet. Ready for orders. Okay, let's begin moving forward. Nope, not with a sprint, with a jump. Affirmative. And we'll just fire half target. of our missiles to save some ammo. And with this guy down, they no longer have the ability to spot us unless they scan one of our... One of our... Enemy reinforcements detected. Okay, so the enemy reinforcements have made it here. That's annoying. Looks like we can't. Looks like I have to go that way. All right, let's move. That will slow us down a little bit. Yes, Commander. In that case, I'm going to have the Highlander stay still. Roger. Because the Highlander is a little bit slow. We need to get our missile support in range so that we can destroy their turrets quickly. What are your orders, Skipper? Roger, Skipper. Hey, this will also give us a chance to see where the enemy Good reinforcements are. Engaging coolant system. I'm receiving you. Ready to rock. 
Still got to get to the battlefield. That, that is the downside of slow battle mechs. Yes, it takes them a while. Not a problem if you're way. not in a time-sensitive mission. Standing by. I don't know where the enemy Copy reinforcements that. are. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Yeah, I think it is finally time to begin moving forward and getting a visual on the turrets. Let's do this. Which I will now do. Okay, so the enemy reinforcements are officially here, I think. I'm just going to take up for 60% defense, and I'm just Standing going to by. allow... my I'm missile there. mechs to destroy the turrets. Not quite enough. We'll send another volley its way. Yes, boss. Moving to position. Aging target. What are going to be in the reinforcements is what I wonder. One less turret. Commander. Standing by. Let's reserve down. Waiting for the shot. Okay, there's the reinforcements. Good to go. Interesting. How do I want to handle this? I really want to get rid of these turrets before we fight the enemy battle mechs. So I think what I'm going to do is move forward like this. Tank up. And I'm gonna shoot at this one. To weaken its armor. And then yes, Lore will finish that one off. Now let's see how we this. Good. Bye bye. Let's do this. And then. They will focus fire on this turret. Locked on target. And then the catapult will follow up. Let's also get the catapult, because the, the catapult got a little battered in the first fight by the Zeus and the Marauder. Have them finish it off. Okay, so if there are any more turrets, I don't have them on radar. But we destroyed three of them, so... There, there might be a fourth one hidden. It might be this one, actually. Commander? But that one might not be a... That one might not be a problem, either. Tactical advantage. Good shooting by the quick draw. He hit with pretty much all of his weapons. Light damage, Commander. Confirmed. Let's reserve down to one. Lots of missiles. Took a hard hit there. Another Marauder, I'm guessing? I'm showing minor damage. Commander. Yeah, they're splitting the damage between our mechs, which is fine. Let's do this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tank up, and then I'm just going to sprint to get closer into the fight. Which should A, it might draw their fire, and B, if it does draw their fire, I've got my defenses up. And in the meantime, we're going to start shooting back. Good to go. Orders? Let's see here. Right torso is a bit banged up, so let's face this way. And we will probably make an attack over here. I want to boost my aim a little bit. Acknowledge. Skipper. And now we'll follow up. I think it's okay that he's out of cover just because if he needs to duck behind the mountain, he can. That hit something good. 
I'm pretty sure we'll be able to fin finish it off with the second volley of missiles. Yeah, that guy's toast. Okay, so he overextended, and now he's down. More accurate than I would have expected, although he might be a uh, gunner, might have a yep, gunner yep. or specialist. An archer comes into play. Also, pretty accurate. Warning. Armor low. A scout, a breaker, and a lancer. How does my armor look? It's... Okay. Uh, yep. A bit worn, but Ready not forward. not the worst. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna sprint into heavy cover to go into heavy cover this time. Full throttle. Okay, good. I shook that attack off. Confirmed. Okay, I'm gonna reserve down. Now we should be free to shoot back. Standing by. Who is our best target here? You've got a thousand armor, thousand armor, nine hundred armor. So we're gonna go after the Orion. Acknowledged. Watcher. They all have very similar armor, though, to be completely honest. Nope, that's too far away. I can't jump that far without losing a lot of aim. Um... This might be a little exposed. They're definitely bringing some... Like, th these are really high-class heavy mechs. Yeah, I'm out of range there. So I do need to come forward. Right there is fine. Okay, we're finally through some of the Orion's armor. Uh, good, that's a miss. I'm due for some misses since they hit me so hard the other time. Looks like they're interested in the Battlemaster, which is fine. That means I can just continue firing from here. There we go, AC ammo explosion. Solid connection on that one. Orion is falling over. Is he gonna melee me? He just kicked me. Wow, he's like using like kung fu attacks. Warning, armor breached. Internal okay, what damage. happened here? I got an armor breach on my left torso. So that means I'm gonna need to spin around to do a little shenanigans here. What what is the farthest I can go that? Probably like that. Fine, you want to shoot it out? We'll shoot it out. Oh, I can shoot it out with this guy, too. Hmm. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to alpha the uh, the guy in front of me. Man, almost cut through four blocks of armor there. I think he missed my uh, left torso, so that's fine. Like, feel free to miss my left torso all day. Let's try and finish off the Orion. Here we go. There we go. Orion goes down. Target down, Commander. 
Like that, that mech, he's just like, I, I still can't get in, he just like, kicked me like with his like, kung fu kick, I'm like, what the heck is this? I want to get this guy off of me so like, my battle master actually needs the support right now. Engaging jump jet. Gonna tank up, and take a shot at this guy. Fight. Okay, good. We got... He, he's in the unstable area, which means uh, he can't run, which means that that might prevent him from... Oh, well, I might be able to knock him over. I need, I need to stop him from melee, my battle master. He needs to stop doing that. Okay, good. So that means he won't be able to melee the battle master a second time. Now, he's through the catapult's armor, probably center torso. Half my armor. Which is a bit dangerous. And then he tries to get fancy, split firing one shot onto the Highlander. Yes, Commander. Yeah, he's through on the center gone. torso armor, so we do have to be a little cautious there. Good to go. Let's try to finish off the archer. The archer is down. Tango is trash, Skipper. Let's do it. Now I am going to get up close and personal with this guy, I think. Oh, I'm just barely out of range. Which it's my left torso. In that case, let me get a little bit of high ground on him. Right there is fine. Keep my left torso facing away. Tank up. And now I'm gonna let him have it. Without the pulse laser, I need that little extra push, but still, that's almost three blocks of armor. Uh, I don't think I need to be... I could be back in cover now. Firing jump jet. Yeah, we can fire all of our weapons. So this version of the Warhammer is the tanky Warhammer. It has less weapons, but more armor. I'm receiving you. Let's... Let's just have you fall back more. Critical hit, Commander. As you can see, they're, they're not afraid to start spamming out the heavy mechs. So like I said, these are decent quality heavy mechs, too. Like, all of them are either, like, rare mods and whatnot. They're all, like, really good ones. Almost got through him there. Now we can finish him off. So what the Battlemaster did here that was really important, in case you were, like, wondering a tactical analysis of what's going on, is... The Battlemaster was kind of controlling that the fight was occurring over here, rather than closer up, because... Like, they were pressuring our oh missile mechs earlier. So I, I wanted the fight to be a little bit further away from the missile mechs, just because both of them have less armor than everyone else. Enemy structure I'm a little confused there. I'm like switching through a different building. I'm like, why do they have so much health? I guess these buildings are just like Orders? awesome buildings or something. They have like a ton way. of health. Where, where's one that's like very fragile? This one. Target confirmed. Oh my god, it just barely survives. Really? Fine, let's shoot at this giant 400 health one. Oh my god, it has so much health. Waiting for orders. Let's get this uh, 181 down. I don't know why I'm being so picky about the buildings. It, it really doesn't matter. It really does not matter. down, Commander. Engaging 
What the heck am I shooting at? I'm shooting over here and it's taking damage over there. Roger that. Ah, they do have a turret. Almost out of ammo, so I'm just gonna reserve. What are your orders, Skipper? Affirmative, Commander. Let's just fire the LRM-10 to finish this off. What? Whatever. That counted as the vehicle being uh, uh, as the turret being destroyed, or the vehicle being destroyed. Let's go disable that turret. I'm ready. Lifting off. Scan it to reveal it. I've got a sensor lock. Ten four. Got a shot on it. Let's go ahead and send some missiles its way. That's how you know this was a long battle. We're actually running out of missiles despite how much ammo I brought. Let's do this. Lifting off. Fire the medium lasers at it. Engage. Okay, now the area should officially be truly clear of enemies. Oh, there's the weaker buildings. Um, I'm just gonna fire everything else at... Oh, I can't fit those ones. Engaging multiple targets. Good thing I fired the second one. One of them missed. Commander? And this facility is like... The, like, battle-hearted facility. It's like, holy crap. Oh, wait, 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 where is it? There it is. There's there, there's the crummy 50, 50 health building. One less structure. Skipper, I got you. Copy that. Finish this building off. Get oh my god, did the last that. missile finish it off? Oh boy. Yeah, like I said, that, that mission actually took a bit of effort. Four and a half skull mission. Unfortunately, they sent out a whole bunch of heavy mechs instead of sending out a small number of assault mechs. So once again, they just are continuously denying us our opportunity to salvage bigger mechs. Still looking for like a Banshee, an Atlas, and a King Crab. How do you get any kills? Oh well, that's fine. The uh, the missile support obviously doing the, the actual job of finishing the enemies off. Meanwhile, I had to run through the gunfire and distract them, getting Kung Fu kicked by, a, uh, by an archer. What a, uh, what a strange battle that was. Marauder, Orion. Uh, uh, uh. And Warhammer. Oh, never mind. That's a really good PPC. We want the ones with the 30 stability damage every single time. Oh my, a TTS with plus two on energy, hmm. 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 Let's let's take the TTS. Where is it? There it is. Uh, what this does is give you more accuracy. In this this particular one gives you more accuracy for energy weapons. It's a uh, targeting computer mod for your battle mechs. And they are, they're not super, I mean, they're, they're not uncommon if you know where to look. But at the same time, they're also pretty expensive, so I'll definitely take one of those. That mech you wanted, that mech you asked for, is clear. Oh, it looks like I wound up getting the, uh, the other piece of that Marauder at random. So, here's the Orion. Got kind of a silly paint job on it. Let's return it to something a little more neutral. There we go. So the the Orion, this is this 
was a mech I wanted to get earlier in the game because uh, this is one of the best mechs to get in the mid game, basically, because it's a heavy mech that's got a ton of armor. It, it's basically like a really small assault mech. It's basically like the Atlas of heavy mechs. It's really big. It's got a lot of armor, plenty of room for weaponry. Just overall, the best the best mech in the mid game to kind of lead the attacks on the enemy. Uh, overall, a really classic mech. You would think that these arms are like giant guns, but they're not. They're actually just normal everyday lasers. Like you would think that those, that like it has like for example, it has two ballistic slots, but it's in its torso. That's where the ballistic slots are. The arms are for lasers and missiles. Uh, the reason his arms are so big is not because of the gun. Well, it is because of the gun. But basically, this thick armor on the gun is a, basically a metal jacket added to protect the gun when the Orion smacks something with its arms. So it's not that the guns need to be this big, it's that the this is just armor on it so that it, it just allows the, the Orion to make melee it. And it, I mean, it plays no effect in the gameplay mechanics. It's just that's why the, that's why the arms on the Orion are th so thick. Because notice it doesn't have a fist to punch anybody with. So it has no choice but to hit them with the physical weapons. So the weapons have an extra jacket, a uh, metal jacket of armor, which allow it to... In the story, at least hit things without causing damage to things. Let's check the repair bills. Minimal repairs. Minimal repairs. Everything looking good? Maybe I'll make a, a video about the Orion, maybe not. Might save it for another video. We'll see, though. But that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed that 4.5 Skull mission. The hardest mission we have done yet. Hoping to get more assault mechs, but no such luck. At any rate, like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future Battletech content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.